Uh, speaking of poverty, though, man. Speaking of poverty. This next story. Another segue. This story is savage as fuck. Like, is it the most savage? Hold up. We've had some savage shit we talking about. We've had some savagely savage shit Bro. on Savage AF on Marcus King Presents Dash Comedy. Yes. But is it really that savage? Is it savage savage? Ratadero, Pakistan. All right. Okay. Right, right. You already started off pretty sad. <laughs> yeah. A <laughs> uh, town of like 200,000 people. Wow. Man, they have recently just discovered that 900 children have been infected with HIV. Okay. Why? They think it's probably more than one person and probably more than one thing that caused it. But one of the main roots of it that they have been able to track it down to is down to one pediatrician who allegedly was reusing needles on patients. Uh, Nine hundred kids. Hundred kids. I now, was, now, what did you think first? The first thing I thought is, is this pediatrician fucking the kids? <laughs> right. No, no, no. I, I didn't think that. That's what I thought. No, 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 no. I was that, like, what that, kind of place is this? That would have been fucking been savage, horrible. right? Yeah, no, we can't go. It yeah. didn't, didn't go there. Um, you know, medical malpractice. But it did make me, it did make me think about why. Like, I, I often, I don't, I don't just like to examine what happened. You know what you I mean? Like, but, I, but once we discover what happened, I want to know why, why, right? And sometimes we don't always get to discover that answer. Sometimes yeah. we don't get that, that closure on an issue. But when we can get to the root of why a thing happened, I think we actually, that's when we learn, right? So for me, when I think about this, right, I'm like, okay, is this some psycho pediatrician who just wants to infect all the children he can? It could be a horror could, that, That's, that's a possibility, a right? Yeah. Evil asshole, psycho, yeah. whatever. I hate kids, so I'm going to give all the kids AIDS. Right. It could be that. Or is this outbreak a, well, a, Simple, as simple as a result, a byproduct of poverty. Of well, just no. motherfuckers being extremely poor. Because what happens is, right? Right. The, all the people that took their kids to see the they to see this doctor, or the, they don't have any money to go see a better doctor than him. Right. Right. So they have to go. See he him. charges like twenty cents for for this visit or whatever, so, yeah. and. They make like sixty dollars a month, so this is yeah, this is part of your budget, right? I don't I don't know if you could be so poor that you gotta go see Doctor AIDS. Well, you don't. Okay, you don't know he's Doctor AIDS. At, he's right. Doctor AIDS. He does, AIDS. but he doesn't. From now on, he's Doctor. Right, right. AIDS. But he doesn't. He's AIDS. He doesn't advertise as that. So it, we're talking about the people who got who got infected before that, right? Right. So they're going there out of necessity. But I'm also thinking about this doctor, right? Who is a piece of shit for doing what he did? Right after the tenth AIDS. Patient. Well, well, I mean, he doesn't know he's doing that either, right? I don't believe that he's doing this on purpose. But what I'm, what I am gonna ask is why? Why would a doctor reuse needles like this, right? So um, you're realizing as you read the article, and I'm getting this from the New York Times, um, you're realizing that it's just this vicious cycle of poverty that pushes people to these extremes, right? So here you have this poor doctor in this poor town who obviously doesn't have the resources and materials that a proper doctor should have in order to service his community. So what does he do? He decides to cut corners, right? Because he yeah. too needs to keep money coming in. These little 20 cent visits, I mean, he needs those, right? Man's gotta make money. I'm not, I'm not endorsing the way he did it, but now we begin to understand why he might have done this, right? His only way to survive is to keep is to keep giving wait, people wait, these wait, things, wait, wait, wait. but he's run out of he's run out of needles. Wait a minute, I, I, I know he's run out of needles. Then don't fucking stick nobody. Then what the fuck? That's you. That's yeah, you sitting I, here. But but you're not. But you're. But I'm, all, all I'm saying is that your your livelihood isn't contingent on that, right? I know. But if I, like if you're gonna give a kid AIDS or uh, he got his sniffles, then you're gonna have to go with the old school Robitussin. I mean, they don't no, no they don't have robots. Uh, like that's what I'm saying. Like they don't have nothing. They, they, but, they're not they're not stacked but, yeah, on medical I, but, supplies. Yeah, but I mean, even if, if if you know that there's a possibility you could transfer AIDS to anybody, fuck it. I, we will not do this until we get needles. 
Yeah, that sounds like a first world hospital. Yeah, okay. This I'm, is Rajadero, Pakistan. Elated. Yeah, I'm not I'm just I'm saying like elated. I'm trying I'm trying to empathize with this situation I, I as much as I can because it's 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 fucking mind blowing, right? How could somebody How many be this got irresponsible? AIDS? HIV. Um, they didn't say the parents, they said kids got it. Yeah, this is not yeah, because they you know, it's seemingly through these this doctor's right. malpractice. But the, you know the first thing I thought was, which is so dark. Fucking the kids. I thought is this doctor fucked 900 kids and gave them AIDS? Because there was a dude in Well, they New are, York the kids City. are fucked. <laughs> yeah, they are fucked, for sure. There was a dude in New York that had AIDS, and he was angry at, um, he was angry at heterosexual people, and so women. And so he went out and gave six women AIDS. Mm -hmm. So he did it on purpose. So they charged him for murder. Right, no, no. And that, they, that, they charged him for murder. And that, that makes sense to me, because that's not an yeah, individual, right? It's not like, so what I'm saying is like, it's not like that guy was in a situation where his livelihood required him to continue to have sex with women unprotected and pass around AIDS, right? right. But, but this doctor is in a situation, and it sounds like he was a piece of shit, right? He, he was leveraging, you know, he was like, well, if you don't have, if you have more money, then go see a better doctor, right? Like, that's basically, oh, that's fucked up. What because this, this one parent in here was reporting on, you know, he saw the doctor reach into a, a trash can to, to give his child a, a shot. And he's, he protested, and the doctor's like, you know, well, go, go pay for a better doctor then. Oh, right? man. So that, that, that's fucked up. But you got to understand, this doctor is poor as shit, too, right? Like, yeah, but if he I'm not, I'm not, again, I'm not endorsing know, yeah, what I'm he did. I'm not endorsing it. I'm just trying to, I'm, and trying to get into right. how does this happen, right? So you got poor doctor, right. desperate as shit, has to reuse needles. Poor people, desperate as shit, have to go see poor doctor, poor doctor. who uses But poor doctor got to have needles. some kind of moral fucking center. I get and you. You know what I think should happen to that doctor? I think he should be put in a cell with a bit, bunch of big black dudes with big black dicks that all have <laughs> AIDS, and they should individually rape him one at a time. And give and him, should rape eight him different and, AIDS. And, and give him eight different AIDS. He should get... He should get herpes AIDS. What is it? Herpes simplex. simplex. <laughs> he should get herpes simplex AIDS uh, with a banana in his ass. No, no. Okay, no. But you, you brought you brought up a, an important word and aspect of this argument, which is morality, right? So, when when you get into poverty of this level, what what becomes moral, right? Like, then then couldn't you say that 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 father? Should have just pulled his kid out of there and said, "Absolutely, right." I'm not. What I'm saying. But where else is he going to get his kid the treatment? But what I'm saying is, I'm not saying just the so, doctor no, no, no. should be raped. I think <laughs> no, no, no. all the parents, all you parents, should get raped. No, 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 no. You, you can't do that because they, doctor aids. They don't. You know, it's it's morality can go out of the window really easily when know, we get like, when we get yeah, into this extreme like, poverty like this, right? Like. People will rob, steal, steal and kill, kill to stay alive. stay alive. And you can't, unless you're there in that moment with them doing, living like that, it, it's really hard to sit back in chairs with full bellies and be like, well, why didn't they just? Okay, I know. But what I'm saying is there is a still, you got to have a moral center, even, even if you're at the bottom rung. Okay, if we crash in the Andes... But we're close enough to the village, and you still like, nah, man, fuck that. I'm still eating some of these niggas. Mm -hmm. No, you don't have to. If you got to go somewhere else, if I, that's why I'm saying. That's but if I'm, you have to, though, if you have to, if you have to eat somebody, if 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 if, if J News, then morality if, goes right, out the window. Right, more, right? And J News is not dead yet, and I'm like, when I'm hungry, I'm like, well, I got bust J News in the head. And then I'm gonna have to cook him up. And then I'm gonna hand you a leg. And what is that? A wing? What is that? A leg? I'm gonna I'm gonna have to dark meat. <laughs> dark meat. <laughs> Nothing like dark meat. I'm saying, but I'm saying at the same time, it's like okay, I know my son is sick. I if I have to drive a million miles, I'm taking him to where they have clean fucking needles. So you you're doing you or you're, walk? Uh, yeah. Is that my elitist? Yeah, I mean, I, I think we're not realizing the conditions that How people, poor they are. Yeah, how extreme. You said drive. Ha! <laughs> what, these sandals? Ride a goat, whatever I got to do, man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. Like, yeah. So I, I think... That's a, you know what? That so, is a sad fucking story. But I, I'm bringing it up not... Obviously, you know, we don't want a situation where anybody's getting infected with HIV in a medical setting, right? Like, that doesn't make sense. But beyond what happened, 900 kids getting infected, 
I, Black Pedro, want us all to understand why it happened too, right? Not, not just that night. Poverty. Not, poverty. And uh, we could send needles over there, but America's fucking, uh, we're a giant, gloated, selfish fucking country. And we're becoming more separatist because Trump is trying to pull out of every, we pull out of Turkey, we pull out of Syria. We, like, we're, we're, we, we're becoming isolationist. Mm -hmm. And that is why we're like, we don't give a fuck about pe other people as much. We're becoming isolationist. <laughs> isolationist. I'm saying, but we don't give a fuck. So let's be real. I mean, I'm not surprised, but just like people said, you know, when the crack epidemic was happening and now we got the opioid, <laughs> nobody gave a fuck. So it's like, we don't give a fuck about, we don't give a fuck no. about poor people. No, then, then, then we don't give a fuck about poor people. So hearing that I go, well, that sounds like the norm. I feel like rich people really do give a fuck about poor people. Like they love poor people because the more poor people there are, uh, the richer they, they are. Feel. <laughs> like, yeah, it's like, like it, it's, it warms the cockroaches. My, of my their heart. Lexus spaceship you is brought up, so much cleaner. You brought up the crack em, academ, ep, academic. Ac academic? <laughs> you brought up the crack <laughs> epidemic. No, no, that, and that's I, a new word. You said. I, and that reminds me. They on Savage AF. Pedro came up with. Academic. A new word. Academic. Yeah, it's when academics break <laughs> out when all academics over the nation. Meet ep epidemics. epidemics. Yeah, it's like when math. <laughs> Just breaks out yeah. and takes over your town. Right. Academics. Damn, I got some, I got some geometry, nigga. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, nigga, what history, is that? son, history. What is that, nigga? Is that social studies, nigga? Um, so you were talking about the the crack ep epidemic, or you brought that up for right. a second there, and it reminded me. I did of, bring up crack, didn't it? It reminded me of that old Chris Rock joke, like, "What about the good side to crack? <laughs> Nobody ever talked about the good side to crack." <laughs> Which leads me into our next story is. Nobody ever talks about the good side to global warming, huh? What about the good side to the glaciers melting? What about it? What about it? Um, so recently, <laughs> Russian Russian Navy found five new islands near the uh, North Pole there uh, as a that weren't there before. As a result, well, they've always been there. You just couldn't see them because, because they were covered in ice. <laughs> that <laughs> ice melted, not. and guess what? New real estate, baby. I'm sure that's. I'm sure Trump saw this coming, yeah, like, and he's going to build an ice golf resort. How much for the other island? Yeah, with the dead polar bears on it. But hey, listen to all you Republican dick nuggets out there who want to climate, exactly. who want to fucking climate deny, and who like to, who love to deny science or whatever right. like that. Don't do that, right? Because you guys look silly. Don't say there's no global warming. Here's a new spin for you. Let's talk about the good side to glaciers melting, right? Like, let's talk about all the new real estate that you'll be able to sell, all the and, new condos and you can all build. all of the species that are going to die. Yeah. yeah! You know what? And the fact that we're not going to make it too much further because a lot of places that are oceanfront properties will become oceans. Yeah. Let's be real. But as we as the glaciers melt, a lot of places... always a good time. Yeah. A lot of islands that were frozen will now become now, great right. beachfront. We will, so. have, we will have beachfront... In Arkansas. At the North Pole. <laughs> <laughs> Arkansas is going to be a beachfront Yes, property. sir. That's going to be it. And Tennessee. And J News is from Arkansas, Tennessee. It's some shit. Memphis. Where are you from? Minnesota. Min new Minnesota. Minnesota. That new Minnesota. That Minnesota. Yeah, Minnesota is going to be definitely. J News got flow on that it's one. It's going to have great beachfront sure property in out. Minnesota. I think that the thing is when they deny it, it's because they are so tied into the big corporations. The that oil, just the oil. Fossil fuel. Fossil fuel industries. companies. They, they just go, you know what, man? I can give a fuck about a pelican. <laughs> like, really? When have you gone through your day and said, yeah, man, I'm worried about these pelicans' lifestyle. Yeah. No, I mean, people don't give a fuck about pelicans. And kind pelicans of, is cool-ass birds. Kind of weird looking. Yeah, they weird looking, but Terrible NBA mascot, by the way, horrible, New Orleans. Like, horrible. what the fuck? Out of all the animals you pick, man. Hey, a pelican? Man, we got a basketball team. Let's go with the pelicans. The pelicans. He's fly little pelican, pelican, pelican. <laughs> Look at that. And Look they were pelican. actually flamingos, not even pelicans. In the movie, <laughs> no, he but said he said pelicans. pelicans though. Yeah. Hey, pelican, pelican. Scarface. Oh, that was a Scarface reference. All right, y'all. Savage AF, if you're just tuning in oh. and you're wondering why oh, I forgot we're to say referencing something. Scarface, that's because we're scat. Savage yes. AF. I forgot to say something else that I've said earlier in the show. By the way, this show, all you motherfuckers, all you motherfuckers, we are on Chartable. That's right. We're the 45th top show when it comes to political slash comedy shows. 
So we need you to help us by going even further and mm-hmm. subscribing That's to right. the podcast Savage AF we on iTunes. You. We want you. So make sure you uh, check us out on that. We're 521st. Mm-hmm. I'm making sure I got the number right. Overall, with podcasts. Out of all podcasts. Out of all podcasts. So make sure that you uh, keep us going and make sure you subscribe, 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 subscribe. I wish we could put it up on the screen because we're actually on Facebook Live right now. But make sure you subscribe. And also, I want to make sure that I say it again before we're done. We got Savage AF live shows coming up. Live. Live. Uh, Me, myself. Black Pedro will be doing live comedy shows, not only coming to Georgia, we're going to be doing shows in Hollywood and on and on. So make sure that you check us out. We will have it posted on our Savage AF page mm-hmm. on Facebook. So when you go to our Facebook page, you will see all the different shows we got coming And out. hit us up on the gram if you want to, yes. you know, get on the list or you get on whatnot. The list at Black Pedro. At Comedian Shang. Make sure That's you how we get that out. done, y'all. Savage and, AF right here. And throw that in there. Uh man, this this next story uh really what? really what? Cra- really cracked me up, bro. And apparently, this is a it's real. No more, it's no more kids with AIDS, is it? No, no. This is okay, a this damn. is a, we're gonna get a little lighter now. Yeah, man. let's get a little lighter. That was some fucking weird shit. Like, hey man, let's talk about uh 900 children with HIV. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> hey, you know, <laughs> Savage AF is for the kids. We're for the children. <laughs> uh, so Shane, you don't drink much. I'm an alcoholic, so uh, wow. I know what the sensation is like to feel inebriated, but I don't know if you can imagine what it might be like to feel inebriated, completely drunk, and to have not had a lick of alcohol at all. What? So, uh, turns out this man uh, pulled over, for suspicion of DUI, hadn't had a drink all day or whatever. Right. Um, you know, to bring him in, his blood alcohol level is like, Four times the legal amount, right? Actually, it's point two. This Maybe one case, had to drink. this one case was point two. It was, it was like does, that's does more than twice. Your, does it stay in your system? Yeah, man hadn't had a drink. You know what happened? What? It's called gut fermentation syndrome. Ew! This is when your digestive yeah. system creates an environment. That brews brews carbohydrates and wine in into alcohol. <laughs> so this man's stomach was brewing beer. And so literally. he basically is a real wino. <laughs> he had a he had like a traumatic thumb injury. Took some antibiotics. Apparently, that altered his digestive system. I had never heard of no shit like. And that now there's mind. like the, the fungal content in his. his He's gonna, he, he ain't gonna never be able to drive again. Taking carb so it's it's with the carbohydrate. It takes carbohydrate because that's how you make alcohol. It's like you take. The yeah. yeast and the sugar and it makes yeast. alcohol or something and, and like sugar that. Sugar and love. Lots of love. Maybe Family tradition. Love. Right here in Kentucky. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but You've always in, why is it always Kentucky? Like, that's where the bourbon that's comes where, from. You don't good old Kentucky bourbon. They don't make good whiskey in New York City, but no, in they don't. Kentucky. So it's it's literally Kentucky's the only place you can is where bourbon comes from. It's the only place. I, well, all other, would, all other whiskeys know. are from us, like I yeah, said. He would know. He, 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 but you know if my stomach isn't brewing it, yeah. I'm filling it back up. Uh, but but this, this to me. Can you die from that? Uh, well, I, they didn't say anything I, about death. That sounds but like it, something you could die from. But it sounds like it could, yeah. It does. I, I think if you overcarb yourself, if you your could probably get is, your, yeah. your alcohol level up to a toxic situation. Uh, but but um, more realistically, what is happening is like there, there are people here. This is an underdiagnosed <laughs> disease scenario situation, what? and people are losing their jobs, losing livelihoods, losing their reputation in their communities because everybody think they're motherfucking drunk. <laughs> yeah, maybe they, they think you got the bubble guts. Yeah, you show enough to pick up the kids. Bubble guts, that's Ciroc, bitch. I'm <laughs> making it in my stomach. You picking up the kids from the PTA thing, and you're like, oh, it's not again in the middle but of that. But did he act drunk? You're inebriated. You You're get inebriated. Like oh yes. Oh my God, yo, man. Like it, it, it creates Listen, alcohol in your system. But that makes and, life fun. But your fun. stomach is. I, I'm like, how? I kind of want that? this disease, right? I, like, wow. Am I crazy? Like, you know how much I, I can save want. at a bar by just eating a loaf of bread and then getting fucked. <laughs> like, just, yeah. Yeah. like if hey, bread. Hold the vodka. Hand me some antibiotics. I'll <laughs> take a corn muffin. <laughs> yeah. And some Doritos. Doritos. 
And they're like, man, Pedro's fucked up. What you eat, man? Fuck you. Yeah. What'd you drink last night? I had um, a bag of potato chips. Chips and uh, a muffin. Two slices of pizza. Shit, that muffin fucked me up. Uh, was it a weed muffin? Nah, man. It's just a regular ass muffin. And, and of course, speaking of weed, you know where my mind went because I've been uh, smoking that. <laughs> I mean, smoking that, right? Uh, I was Jay, like, well, Jay how, how, how can I get my lungs my lungs to auto dispensary. You that won't, saying? Like, that'll never happen. How can I start growing weed in my uh, lungs? Yeah, but the, the wild shit about it is if, if, if he gets this drunk from his own stomach, I guess, right? It's basically his stomach is making him drunk. Is there, uh, is there any kind of like a anonymous? You can't, there's no, they can't do that. Where like, st- like alcoholic stomach yeah, anonymous, uh, you're right? ASA, like alcoholic stomach anonymous, and, and you say, Hey man, I'm never gonna eat muffins again, <laughs> and I'm sorry that uh, I'm sorry that I crashed my car after eating fucking that white bread, bread, man. No, but I mean, these people have to control like their diet and take some pills and shit like that, and then sometimes it's still doesn't... that's a strange way to live your life, but. Man, when you stop taking the pills, you could just get fucked up. How beautiful is that? Man, if I could, if I could get drunk off a loaf of bread, dog. Like, just drunk <laughs> off of me. Nigga, I'm at the bakery every yeah, day. Every day. They're like, Pedro's but got I, a problem. He's at the bakery again. I, I've been, uh, me and my son were hanging out, uh, was it last night, night before? Yeah. Just eating massive amounts of edibles and watching kung fu movies. And I thought, man, I, I've been missing out on... I, that that you know, edible thing, and mm. now I'm into it. But I'm gonna tell you right now, if they did something like that, if something happened like that with the body with weed, do you know how many people would be ecstatic? If I could find a way for my body to make its own THC, <laughs> bro, my budget, like I'd be oh. balling, like I could save so much money. I saved, I I spent, I just spent. I like, want this disease. Yeah, I like, want I, this disease. I want this. disease. You know, disease. we're gonna start it. We're gonna start a. <laughs> A GoFundMe yeah. to uh, get some research so we can get Pedro the THC virus disease, or we can we can even start with the beer belly thing. Like yeah. I'll br- I'll brew some beer in here. You know what I'm saying? Like that's crazy. Yeah. That's one of the craziest things I heard for a while. And you probably the listeners of Savage AF are probably thinking that's some crazy shit. Yeah. But that's what we bring to you. That's what so we do. So you'll be able to tell your friends, Yo, man, did you hear about motherfuckers getting drunk off their own stomach acid? Yeah, nigga. And I'm hope I'm next. <laughs> right, you pass, pass them. You gonna eat pay, your cornbread? Hey man, you know pass that nigga's navel. <laughs> Cause I wanna get fucked up. Hilarious. They, I mean, like, what if you don't? If, can you just suck on that dude's arm and then get? Since he's already inebriated because of his own body. Hilarious. You could just suck on a motherfucker's arm. There are people like, out here. Women fr- suck your dick and then I didn't drink nothing. Hmm, you kind of did. did. Kind of had a little bit of me. Yeah, you had that. If you, if you suck me <laughs> Call off, me Johnny Walker. You just yeah, had a shot. You just. All right, so speaking of a shot. Speaking of a shot, let know. me tell you something. I don't know if this is a real on. segue. Uh, that is, uh, uh, put the camera, I gotta say this. Uh, let me tell you something. This young man has the best of uh, segues in hey, the business. Hey. I've worked with all the greatest, <laughs> I've worked with all the big names. Sammy Segway Something. Sammy, Sammy, <laughs> Sammy Segway Something. That motherfucker was the best I ever seen. Ooh, boy, can transition. Tell you something, all right? I've, I've worked with some of the best, the best of the best. This nigga is the best. Segway man in the business, and all you motherfuckers want to come take his crown, come try. I dare you to, motherfucker. I dare you, nigga. We're talking about shots of alcohol, and now we're talking about shots in basketball, y'all. Shots uh, in basketball. The NCAA. Finally. Has voted. Finally. And this makes me so goddamn happy, man. But the they NCAA, deserve. the National Collegiate Athletic yeah. Association, yes, has voted to finally give student Stud- athletes a money. shot at making money while no, they no, play. No, 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 not just a shot. There's a very good chance that they finally will be rewarded for all the money they bring into the college. Guys, this is this is big news for me. For those who don't know, just following Savage AF, yeah. just following Black Pedro. Yeah. Uh, I, you know, I've been on a, a three-year, oh, sorry, I've been on a three-year uh, NFL boycott, right? I've been on three years. Yeah, damn, I haven't watched But. I did watch a little and, bit, um, but I'm a huge, I, I'm a huge, huge football fan. So it hurts my heart to boycott the NFL. It leaves me with my only, my last bastion of entertainment in that Basket. realm. They're playing where, where it all started for me, University of Michigan Wolverines. All right. Oh, see, fuck that. That's my number one football 
sports entertainment thing of all time. So I lean heavy on that. But the whole time I knew yep. that the NCAA is just as shitty an organization as the it's, NFL, it's, possibly yeah. even shittier. No, way shittier, way shittier. So I had to swallow some politics, swallow some pride to keep watching NCAA football. But now, now I feel vindicated. And I know that in 2023, <laughs> when this finally kicks in, um, and although wait, it, it's, it's still wait, not wait, official, okay. So twenty twenty three. Yeah, so oh, it's not it's not an them. immediate it's not an immediate thing. It's okay. fuck them. And let's talk about it, right? Because it's not it's not just a pay to play, right? So schools won't be paying student athletes to play the sports for them. But you can possibly earn what they will allow will be allowing. Or okay, so first of all, this is California doing this. So right. this is the state of California is doing it for its higher education school systems, right? So. It will allow students to make money off of their image and licensing, right? right? Which would, you know, jersey sales, they could go indoor Cups. cereals, uh, you know, they can, yeah. Condoms. All that stuff, man. You know, video game. Video you game. know, your likeness on the NCAA video right. game. You should now make you, that money. You should make some money off of that, right? right. So they're finally going to open up that door for these kids to be able to can do that. Can they retro go back to the people that they fucked over? They can't do it. So that's just like the people that are in jail for weed. It's like, well, too bad. And now it's legal and it's everywhere. Yeah. So, I mean. Yeah, sorry, you uh, fucking. What if you're a kid that. Ryan leg, Leaf, you're not going to get the money back. If you broke your leg and then you're not playing anymore, but they use your image, can they, they should be able to get, he should be able to get money. You know, I don't know about details like that. I think I it, hope they, I hope it'll they be. They deserve it. That's unfair. So what they're basing this off of basically is like uh, the Olympic model where, you know, Olympic athletes don't get paid for what they do, but they, they bring in a they lot of eyeballs. In. You get a gold medal, you caked up. Right. So then you when, you get the, when you get that gold medal, but you're not caked up off the gold, right? You don't, you don't go pawn the gold medal <laughs> and get the money for it. Well, right? you get the, depends you get, on what type of motherfucker you You get are. your money from licensing and endorsing your own image. Right. As an athlete, like so Hussein when they get gold. the gold, and then you see him on the Wheaties box, it's not the gold that got him paid; it's, it's the, the Wheaties, Wheaties box. Like Hussein Bolt, they said that is literally right after he got done winning and breaking all the records. They said there were people that came out the stands that were like, like, hey, we want to give you this endorsement, this endorsement, this. He made twenty-two million dollars before he even got to, to the locker shower. room. Shit, yeah. So we go. need more of that, but I think the NAAC. Uh, the NAACP. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Get them down here. Yeah, we need that. No, Marching for free. I think the NFL, uh, they compensate their players really well. But college football, let's be real. It's more violent sport. Those kids really need to be compensated, I think. Yeah, but I also do see the. I mean, this is this is a, it. Can, mean, you get it could get it could get sticky, right? But you get a free education, but also I'm putting my body on the line oh, to yeah, make yeah, millions yeah. and no. millions and millions of dollars for I this totally agree. College. Yeah, and the coaches are walking out with ten, fifteen, twenty million, and so why? But would, you also you also can't just straight up pay the athletes, right? Like you can't you could, do that. Because, why not give them a, a because a, then, a flat fee? It's that's no a, like no longer amateur sports. Then, then you know what? Then it just so what like. The, uh, if you look at baseball, the the they get you know the minor leaguers they get paid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they that but paid. but that's professional. They're not in a school. They, but I'm saying, it's it's yeah, a tier so, of professional. So what I'm saying is a tier of professional. But why why can't they make some kind of correlation where that's what they do with these athletes? Because a lot of these kids out there breaking their fucking bones and breaking their ass, they deserve that money. Colleges know they're taking advantage of them. Oh, definitely. You can't even. Definitely. I can't get a fucking sweater. But 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 so so here's the thing, right? You can't. But you can't have the schools paying the kids directly. That's that's just gonna corrupt the whole college recruitment. It's thing. already corrupt. I get it. I get it. But it, it so it'll it'll corrupt just corrupt for corrupt. No, it'll just tear that down. And and then it be, they become professional athletes. So you you got to create. You got to have some distinction between the NCAA and the NFL. Well, right? maybe that needs to or be the NBA or whatever. No, no. So no, no. The difference will be. This, this, the students' ability to take their own image and shop it around based market. on their based on their individual performances, right. which I think is, I don't know, a little bit more fair. But then I, I, I wonder about, I wonder about, you know, I don't the, know. the the third string lineman or right. you know the the linebacker that's not going to play who still practices all week and, and gives his body up uh, during the week. 
uh, or the fucking badminton team. <laughs> the, you know, the golfer is the lesser water program. What about polo? What about us? Fuck y'all. Ain't nobody water polo. How many times you said, man, can't so, wait to get home to watch some water polo. So here's the, and here's the other aspect of it. And, and uh, that doesn't make it a guarantee. Like I said, this is a, a California issue right now. Hey, California and California is more progressive and, 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 in a lot Right, of and there are some other states who are making this move, but federally, yeah. this is still... It'll all be Missouri. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and federally, this will still not be uh, enacted. So the NCAA um, has, has finally actually agreed to adjust their rules because the problem was going to be that California's new law would be in violation of the NCAA's amateur laws, right? Right. So that what this is about is the NCAA finally changing their Change amateur the law laws across the board. But they're corrupt as fuck. Everybody knows they're corrupt. And there's a show called Ballers that I don't know. Some people don't know what I'm talking about, but it's actually Dwayne the Rock Johnson is the star of it, and he goes against all of that. And and, and the, the actor in the, the, the show. Why does he, why doesn't your twin brother ever have you on the show? I don't know, brother. <laughs> I mean, I'd be like, dog. And he's like, uh, you let yourself go. <laughs> That's what we do. <laughs> but no, I'm saying I think that uh, I think that they should just make it. Hey, like certain tier of professionalism. If I'm an athlete for a college, mm -hmm. I become a certain tier professional athlete. And in NFL, obviously, is the top of it. Just like if we're in a, a comedy club or we're doing a, a smaller comedy club that's like Uncle Funny's Chuckle Hut, and you graduate to like the improv and the funny bone and the laugh factory. The main thing is, I think they should do that with the athletes. Because I watched this documentary on these kids when they get hurt, mm -hmm. and they don't, and, and then they're just like, well, fuck you. Yeah. You're out. You don't get no college, you don't get anything because you're not performing for us. And you're not bringing in the millions and millions of dollars that they get. So I just think that they're going to have to change the whole thing. That's why, you know, Elizabeth Warren, she's not going to, I don't know if she's going to win. I think Biden's going to win the nomination. But, I mean, she, like she said, what we need to do across the board is giant sweeping change. And when I watch these kids, I love, I, now I like NFL. I did like the NFL more than college football. Mm -hmm. There's something different. It's faster, something different. But I still think that, man, when I watch all these kids, did you've watched some of those shows on ESPN where they show that the kid worked all his life, gets oh, there, yeah. and he's one of the best athletes there, and then one little freak thing, somebody steps on his ankle and fucks his ankle up, and he's ass out. And then financially, he's you're ass he's out. He's selling tractors now yeah, back yeah, in his yeah, hometown. Right. In exactly. Arkansas. He's that footlocker, you know, selling the shoes that he was supposed to be wearing. Endorsing. He endorsing. So I just feel like I understand what you're saying. But I think they need to change it, you know, and basketball too. Basketball, oh no, no, this is an NCAA yeah, thing. Yeah, basketball. It's, it's, so it's all sports. All sports. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. It so, should be all, all, all student athletes. Uh, what about 20, the people who throw darts? You know, if, the if professional that's, dart throwers. If you, if that's how you got, if that's how you paying for school. If you paying for school with darts. You, um, you'll, you'll be able to get some dart endorsements. Endorsements. <laughs> Yeah? No? Did that work? All right. There we okay, go. Savage thing. AF. Did that work? No. Fuck your feelings. I'm Black Pedro. I'm Shang. Hey, y'all. We thank you guys for tuning in. Always, make sure yes. you follow us, Savage AF, yeah. on Facebook. Also, follow Savage AF Radio on all, all social, social media, media pla platforms. Forms. And make sure you check us out on the podcast version, Stitcher, iTunes, Google Play, Slacker, iHeartRadio. Make sure you subscribe. We're going to actually have on the Facebook we're going to actually show, have the link so you can go actually subscribe on the show. And make sure you check out Savage AF Live. We're going to be doing live shows where you can see Black Pedro do his jokes live. Oh, uh, yeah, you can see him live. So make sure you come out and check us out for the live shows. I got to make sure before we bounce, this weekend I'm going to be in Richmond, Virginia at the Funny Bone for four shows. And then I'll be in Toledo, Ohio doing the Funny Bone for five shows. Indeed. So make sure you guys check me out. If you get a chance to come out, I'm going to be doing that. Then Vegas and then the L.A. Comedy Club in, uh, at the Strat in Las Vegas. I'm going to be there for seven days, seven shows. So Ooh, make sure Lord. you check me out. I'm, I'm getting back into work. I'm out the hospital. I'm back, and I'm going to be working my damn tail off. There you go, man. Because, Keep working. you know, I'm Dolomite, and I came to fuck shit up. Nah. That's and, what I'm gonna do. and fucking up motherfuckers is my game. Yeah. Well, no, what was so, he saying? Is, uh, Dolomite is my name. Fucking, fucking up, up motherfuckers, motherfuckers is, is my, my game. game. Okay, cool. 
Speaking of game, so sad. I, I don't even give a shit about the World Series right now. But you so don't? sad, so sad I missed this game. I think it was game five. Oh. Watch, we have the Washington Nationals versus, yes. versus the Houston Astros. And, and in D.C. at a game, and your president, yes, Trumpy Dumpty, number 45, Colt 45, yes. and his wife, Melania, were at and the game. And his cronies. There was a lot of his cronies around yeah. him. And once, the, once his presence was announced and they, were, they appeared on the Jumbotron, yes. a huge resounding boo boo <laughs> broke you suck. out boo uh, it was so hilarious to watch both his and, and, his and, Melan face. and melania's face change yeah. when they, when the boo started and then they he actually did a, a fairly decent job of going back to the the fake fat like <laughs> you, <should be> <laughs> you know like that kind of laugh like what? no they not booing me they saying yeah. Move yeah, into move. the White House permanently. And, and, and actually, That's what they say. Move in. And there was there was some niggas who was like, move, bitch, get out the way. Way is a ludicrous but concept. But this ain't the worst part of it. First they booed him. Right. And then and I'm and talking then, about giant sections when they showed him on a jumbotron booty. And then, then it just kept getting worse. People are just, some of this uh, uh, Secret Service were actually putting their hands out saying, you know, bring it, bring it down, which they did. No, then they started chanting. Then they started chanting, lock, lock him up, lock, lock him up. up. <laughs> and it was the best shot. I, you know what? I usually don't get a little hard on when I watch little clips like that. I got a little hard. I got a little hard when I watched it. I got a little excited. I was like, finally, he's not in his little safe bubble where he's around his, all his little rednecks at his fucking Trumpy Dumpty fucking, you know, rallies where he's safe. When he got out with regular motherfuckers, it's like, boo, you a horrible ass president, bitch. That's the most, you, you know? That's the most interesting part because this was a home game in, in Washington, Washington D.C. So you might think that he might be okay or safe, in in, at least He's in not. that space. No. Nah. They booed the shit out of him. And then they show him sitting there disgruntled. And he left early. He left early because they showed him sitting there with a little pouty, trout ass face, just, yeah. Yeah, they don't like me. Yeah, they don't like me. Yeah. You, know, you know what was significant about that moment when his his face flipped for a second yeah. and he realized he was getting booed? It was like, I felt like I saw a genuine moment, which I find insane, but a genuine right. moment where he was actually realizing that people might not like him. Like, I think, like, he showed up at that game thinking that people were going to go like him. <laughs> like, like, him. They were going to be like, the president's here! And instead he got, lock him up, lock him up. And, 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 but it, it just shows a level of delusion to think that in the midst of an impeachment inquiry, failed policy in Syria, right. uh, you know. Turning our back on basically the Turkish. On the Kurds. On the Kurds. Yeah. Uh, and, and he still think he's a man. And I was actually at that game. I just want everybody to know I was at the game. And I was a nigga in the back yelling, rape his mouth, rape his mouth. <laughs> but nobody, like the camera. It got drowned out over yeah, there. Yeah, the camera didn't pick me up, which is some bullshit. Ah, that's racist. I, now that's that. That's some bullshit. totally racist. If I was a white dude saying rape his mouth, rape his mouth, I'd be on CNN, CNN tonight talking about the shit. The, your message would be out my, there. My message would have been out there. This is some bullshit. Message. <laughs> hey, y'all, we savage as fuck yes. right here. Marcus King presents Dash Comedy. Um, before we get out of here, yes, guys. suggestion. Make sure every time you see the president, boo him. Yes. Right. Boo him and say lock him up. In Just face. like he did about telling us Hillary. to go back to the country. We Like telling black people go back. Go back to where you came from and all the other shit. It's your turn, orange fuckstick. Go back to Oompa Loompa land. Yes. Um, Oompa Loompa. Doompa dee doo. Do. Last, last but not least, before we get out of here, man, and this, this will be a, a, a little bit of a a sadder, darker moment. Another. I didn't. I didn't get to touch on it last week. Um, wow. Uh, and th and thanks and shout out to Jalen Bishop for uh, filling yes. in yes. while you were down, saying and, and yes. great Thank to have you, you back. Yes, I was. Uh, I was uh, a little fucked up. Yeah, man, man, yeah. shit, do it. Yeah. Um, but one thing I forgot to touch on uh, last week was the passing. Yes, of a great man. Of a great, great man, a great representative. Uh, yes. From from Baltimore, um, always rep Baltimore to the fullest. Yeah, for the past um, almost thirty years. Yes. I think he came in in ninety four, ninety five or so. Mm -hmm. 
But Elijah Cummings did pass. Yes, and his, uh, I got to say something. It showed at the funeral the difference in the tone of, of what a president should be. If you look at what, the, what Clinton said, even Hillary Clinton, and Obama's speech was, was like really on point. Well, yeah. That, well, that's what that boy do. That's what he, he do. talked good. He <laughs> talk. He's a good talker. That boy talked. But no, good. The, the thing is, I got to say that the way Clinton addressed him, and even Republicans talked about him, that was a good man. That was a really good man. And and I, I posted something up on my Instagram. I posted a picture of him, and you know, condolence to his family. This is the wild part about it is, even the Republicans that were always against him, even though you know Lindsey Graham didn't even shake his hand mm-hmm. when he was when he actually got in office. Um, even they had to say that was a good man. Yeah, they just nothing they could say. So I, I although I, although uh, just before his passing, Trump Trump was Trump, going. Uh, well, Trump. Of course, that dickhead was going at him and yeah. about corruption in right. Baltimore, and that's why he wasn't. In, he was at the he had at the funeral. He's not he was a, not, McCain. They didn't want him there. They didn't want him. They don't want him anywhere. That's why he's going to continue. Even though, but there's 38 percent of the people man still backing this motherfucker. 38 percent of Republicans. Republicans, right? Yeah. But he still—I I don't know. I, he could win, though. I still think he could win. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, got to get out there and vote, guys. It's yeah. important, all right? Missouri needs you. <laughs> you got to get them. We got to free them labias. You got to get. Can't let the labias just uh, be locked up. And we can't let Trumpy Dumpty sit on this wall. Continue right. to sit boo on this that, wall. Boo that motherfucker when you see him. Make sure you guys get out there, yeah. man. Uh, brother, anything you want to add before we get no, up out I, of here? Again, I, I, I'm just very appreciative to be back. I'm appreciative that people were really are like checking the show, and the people that are listening to us on iTunes is is you know I I didn't realize it until I've been looking it up and checking that in Czechoslovakia we're like 30th, like we're a, a we're across the world. So you motherfuckers get par- be part of this movement, man. Be yeah, part man. of the Savage AF movement. We gonna take this shit to another level. So I wanted to make sure everybody knows that. Not a, I, I'm coming back a little bit. I'm still, you know, a little working on it. But hey, man, keep supporting. Keep seeing us individually live. Make sure you always check out at Black Pedro. Make sure you go to his and go to his Instagram and give it to your friends, 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 friends. Follow at Black Page. He, he's pointing to himself. That's me. people can't see on the radio, but he's pointing to himself. And follow me at Comedian Shang Comedian on Shang. Instagram. Thank you guys for supporting us. Our, our show is we're gonna get even bigger and better. You know oh yeah, saying? now we got the visual aspect. So make sure yeah. you check out VibeFree.tv. Vibe that is our host studio nowadays. Uh, we're happy to be here. Black owned business in the Inglewood. Yeah. Yeah, for uh, sure. And then you can also, of course, check us out live on the Savage AF Facebook. And the page, pod- y'all. And Make the sure. Podcast. Follow us, iTunes, y'all. We need those subscriptions, subscriptions reviews, and, downloads. and then share that shit just like a cold sore in third grade, okay, guys? Share it. Guys, listen, we're Savage AF. I'm Black Pedro. Shang. We are out. Deuce. See you next time, y'all. And scene.